area here. I'll just wait until I have had a total view. All right, are you here? All of you are here, right? So today, uh, we are going to have a consolidation on uh, accent and alkalis. I said last night, it is a very important topic uh, because uh, it lays a good foundation on qualitative and quantitative analysis. Okay, so that's why it would have a uh, and, and also, it, it is a cross top, uh, it, is, it serves a very good center of the topic, which uh, would have a integration of other topics, just like um, records, okay, uh, etc. cetera. And uh, accent, and accepted oxides and basic oxide, but you know it in periodic pattern. Energetics, if you talk about the heat released, uh, due to the exothermic nature of neutralization reaction, etc. So you may get all those, right? And uh, it's a very uh, good topic for you to have a start. So today, uh, in this lesson, we will have a, again, uh, the consolidation on this. So last, last night, I just leave you a whiteboard. Do you still, uh, do you still get to uh, remember what is that about? Now, I would like to uh, share uh, the page here. Uh, who else, who else have entered the classroom? Let me see. All of you here? Uh, share, 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 share. Uh, yes, that's right. This is the one. So as said last uh, night, uh, you guys, uh, once you go back to school, you need to have a uh, SBA right, very, very soon. So this is what I would like to remind all of you. Do you, do you see that? Now uh, today we focus on acid and alkaline, right, for this part. All of you have, have got this. Uh, I try to magnify this part such that all of you can see it. Can you see it clearly? Do you, meet, do you need to make it bigger? Yeah. Is it, is it possible? Uh, you can read it now? Now. So I would like to show the um, chat box somewhere for me so that I can uh, keep track of uh, your learning. Sorry, so is it okay now? Yeah. Now, uh, just like last time, I would like to uh, invite the students uh, present today to answer the questions one by one. Uh, the first one, Lei Jin Long. Zhu Gaming will be the second one. And uh, Wu Galo will be the third one. First question. First question. Yes? Uh, I just wait for a moment. Just wait for a moment. Now, uh, as said before, the, for the, uh, those three students, uh, read those three answer some recent type questions and give me your answer as well as your explanation. Now, the first question, sodium hydroxide is an active ingredient in uh, most household glass cleaners. Uh, the sodium hydroxide reacts to form soap. You know, you suggested the SA. How about the others? Agree or not? Agree or not? 
sodium hydroxide. So have you ever tried to use the window cleanser, right? You, you spray it on the window to clean it, right? Uh, uh, to make it an anti-fogging effect as well as to clean the surface, right? So uh, have you smelled anything special? Very important clue. It has a smell. Did you know that? Now, of course, the first uh, for the second state second statement, no problem. Uh, is undoubtedly true because you are going to have sodium hydroxide react with oil to form soap. It is a type of saponification reaction. In organic chemistry, it is a type of an um, alkaline hydrolysis of uh, fats because the fat molecule is a very very big and it is. Most of the part, it is hydrophobic. It does not dissolve in oil. But it's in oil, it, 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 it doesn't dissolve in water. So, uh, saponification of the oil helps at producing soap, but the soap can both uh, be soluble in water and oil and can be washed away so easily. Yes, that's right, ammonia. So, the answer is ammonia. Ammonia is the active ingredient in our most household glass cleanser. Why not using NaOH in case you are going to remove the dirt, oil dirt, oily dirt? Sodium hydroxide is possible, and it's actually is also also possible. Why do we use ammonia? Why? Yes, very good. Uh, somebody will say that sodium hydroxide has, has been suggested that, that it melts glass. It, indeed, it's not melting. It's a type of, I'll uh, use some uh, technique, uh, some terms, the more the terms we uh, more frequently use attack, attack glass. Why? Because glass, it is a type of a silicate uh, SiO2 um, substances, right? So it will react with alkaline. Right to form silicates. Do you still remember what is that? Do you still remember what is that? Well, this one it is uh, it dissolves, and uh, we will call the whole process attack glass. Now, in the past, while we are while I study uh, chemistry, right? Uh, while uh, in the secondary school. Now, in the past, we have got a very old type of reagent bottle. Now, of this one. Have you ever seen that? But not screw cap. But nowadays, you are going to use a screw cap. Now, this is a very old type of uh, reagent bottle with a glass stopper here, right? All those, they are just made up of glass. So, in case you are going to have some alkaline substance inside that, right, uh, that two glasses will finally adhere together, will be stuck together. Okay, such that you cannot remove it so easily. So we call the process attack glass. Similarly, in the past, while you have the red, now the stop pot here is also made up of glass. So in our uh, in our own way of studying chemistry, red inside red, it is never to be containing any OH. It should be acid. So it is something about uh, the old type of people handling while you have got the two glasses sticking together in the presence of alkaline. So of course, nowadays, uh, as technology advances, we are using a different type of reagent bottle with a glass container and with the plastic uh, cap, okay, with a plastic cap on top. And also for the stop pot, similarly, it is made up of plastic instead of a glass. So it is, it is to prevent uh, some unfavorable chemical reaction between the two parts. Do you understand? So this is what uh, we know it in the uh, Just tell you something about uh, the old times of chemistry. Do you understand? Shall we invite Zhu Gaming to take a look on question two? Question one, the SAC. Non-water is used to absorb excess carbon dioxide in the lab. 
and passing carbon dioxide to lime water will form calcium carbonate. What do you think? Now, while I'm waiting for the answers, uh, I would like to um, test uh, for a little bit by, uh, I've, I've, I've given, I've got a mic. Try to see if the receiving function is better or not, or even worse. I'd just let me know. Now, I just talk in the mic. What do you think? Better, worse, or not? Same? Is it better? Uh, because I've just conducted lesson in the classroom. Uh, so I do think uh, the echoing effect is quite large. I changed the mic here. I put the mic here. Is it better? Worse? Same? No change? Same? Okay, good. <sighs> Less echoing or the same? Or better? Now, Lambo tissues absorbs as excess carbon dioxide in the lab. Passing carbon dioxide in the lime water to form calcium carbonate in the lab. In the lab. So I must tell you that uh, calcium carb and if you want to talk about, uh, now indeed, uh, the second statement is correct, right? Car car carbon dioxide and lime water will react to form calcium carbonate. But uh, this is the purpose right here. Lime water is used to absorb excess calcium car carbon dioxide in the lab. This is not our commonly used method. Why not? Lime water is in solution form. It will be quite difficult to handle. So in case you are going to have some chemicals to absorb carbon dioxide, normally we will use solid chemicals. Okay, so the answer is cross and take. The answer is C. Tell me alternatives. Which chemical can be used? To uh, uh, which is solid, of course, can absorb CO2. Anyone who can have a suggestion? You know, the carbon dioxide is excess gas, right? Of course, you are going to have some basic, right, to help absorb this. Any good example? NaOH, agree. Is it a good uh, chemical? Now, first of all, NaOH, you mean solids, caustic soda. Caustic soda absorb CO2. Is it? Any other example? Calcium oxide, or a mixture of the, those two, right? In biology, in biology, you may you, you you may usually use what to absorb CO two. What is it called? Any biology students? What is it called in biology? Hey, don't tell me that, or uh, we, we don't have any biology students here, right? Come on, anyone who can tell? I'm going to go to the
Have you ever heard of the term soda lime? Soda lime. It is something about in uh, in biology. Soda lime. What is that? Soda lime. It is a mixture of calcium oxide and now slime. You know that calcium containing substance. Soda. You need. You know what's that? It is sodium containing substance, right? What is calcium containing? What is sodium containing? Lime, calcium containing, soda, sodium containing. Okay, so it is a mixture of NaOH and CaO. Okay, it is used to absorb CO2. You know it? It is about at most an. Uh, And if you want to um, take a further look of the chemical composition inside, the further uh, uh, the use of the soda lime, they will uh, absorb C or water as well. Okay, water as well. It's not just CO2, but also water. And later on, if you have uh, got it as a safer chemicals, you will have calcium hydroxide. Uh, it is mainly about 75% of calcium hydroxide and are a trace amount of uh, NaOH, okay? And uh, we have a bit, you will still can use it to absorb CO2, our uh, calcium hydroxide solid, but not my water. Okay? Do you understand? Do you understand? So we will not use lime water, we use like lime. Slick line is a better choice. But of course, now uh, in the uh, commercial market, we will use a mixture, okay? A mixture of uh, different uh, oxide and hydroxide to absorb CO2, but not lime water. Lime water is not a choice uh, because it's in liquid form, it's a uh, solution form, it's quite difficult to handle. You understand? For those who, who are still studying biology, or you may refer to some MC questions, the use of a solar line, right? Especially when dealing with respiration, is it? Experiment or experiment, experiment setup of uh, respiration for the synthesis, right? You may use this. Question three. Ugalo. Efferescence occurs when calcium hydroxide is added to a dilute hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide reacts with dilute hydroxide to be a salt. This one is not correct because no what? No effervescence. So we add with each other to form what? Calcium chloride together with water, but no CO2 only. Okay? So the answer is C. Now, shall we invite the, uh, another three students? Yeah. Alawanzen, you know it, right? You, you know you will fourth one, low seal one man. Hey. Now citrax the crystal can turn a uh, dry blue limits paper red crystal without water inside. So the answer is first one is cross. Citrax it contains hydrogen as a constituent element is correct. Okay, only by adding water, uh, some of the hydrogen atoms inside will be ionized. And, and we will, uh, which will uh, process axolytic property. Question five. Lu Xiaohua, Man Hei. Lu Xiaohua, question five. Man Hei, question six. Sodium chloride solution is axolytic. Sodium chloride solution contains hydrogen ion. C, mm -hmm. D, C or D. C or D. Tell me your understanding. Lo Xiaohua, tell me your understanding. C or D.
C. The first was the statement. The first statement is correct. How to make it correct? How to make it correct? Yes, it's neutral. Spell and please. Neutral. And uh, sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride solution contains hydrogen is correct, okay? But uh, why not a solution contain hydrogen ions? We'll call that acidic. Why not? So if you say that, Right, if you say that it is hydrogen container, right? What do you know about the solution set as the acidic, neutral, or alkaline? You need to check what? Okay, you need to check the relative concentration of hydrogen ions when compared with that of hydroxide ion. In order to tell the solution is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Do you understand? So, for the cases of sodium chloride solution, what is that? I say that it's acidic, neutral, or alkali is said that it's neutral. Okay, why? It's because when comparing the two, right, the mathematical term is an equal sign. Now, so uh, we need to go back to some of the Example, right? Uh, so, do you mean that all salt solution is neutral? Any pattern? Can anyone search for me any pattern? Okay, so you know that. For neutral solution, the molarity is 10, oh, 10 to the power minus 7 mole per dm cube. Okay? Which is the same at 25 degrees. Some examples, right? Normally, if you want to talk about neutral solution, it is made up of a strong acid and strong alkaline. You take it. You make it as a neutral solution, a neutral salt. If you want to have an uh, uh, the solution which is an acidic solution, normally it is what it is strong acid and weak alkali. While the river, uh, while you substituting different orders, right? You may see that with acid reacts with what. Uh, the strong alkali normally they would have a uh, alkaline solution as a product. How about with acid with alkali? How about with acid and with alkali? The answer is it depends. 
Okay, it depends. So it depends on what? It depends on the uh, exit or the base uh, dissociation constant. So it is something about equilibrium and it may be a bit out of the scope in your DS exam. But this is general rule of thumb. We'll talk about this. Okay. So uh, do you have some examples uh, to illustrate that question five? Do you have any examples? Now, all of you, could you please write or uh, uh, keep track it and put it in on your notebook? Now, for example, the first case, uh, if you have got strong acid plus strong alkali to form neutral solution. So you may have this case, HCl reacts with NaOH to form NaCl and H2O, the solution is neutral. That is the first case, okay? The second case, the second case, if you want to talk about our strong acid, react with weak alkali. It will get it as a, uh, a type of a slightly alkaline solution. Uh, sorry, it should be slightly acidic solution. So you may have some examples, HCl react with what? Ammonium, right? You may get ammonium all right, but it is acidic. Now, if you want to study more about chemistry, the reason, there is some reason. It's not just, this is just a pattern, but not the reason. The reason is because of the hydrosis of ammonium salts, ions. Okay, so which is, uh, you have to write something like this. So we have got that extra source of a hydronium ion uh, when you compare with water, uh, pure water inside, we have got equal concentration of hydron ion and hydrogen ion, but this time I supply excess. Uh, uh, hydrogen ions to it such that you will say the accident. For those who understand what I've just said, uh, could you please put a text? Let me know. Any example on question three? We have got a weak acid. We react with strong alkali to form a uh, alkaline salt. And together with we'll water, together with we'll water, right? So uh, the reason behind is again hydrolysis. Ethanoic ions, right? So you may write a type of a chemical equilibrium questions. to form ethane exit, you know, it is the weak exit, uh, while you have got a uh, not com incomplete ionization, while you are having hydroxide INDA, which is in excess, which is, uh, which overwhelms the, uh, which makes the imbalance uh, in the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxide, right? So make the solution alkaline. So that's why if I said, a situation of uh, weak acid with alkaline uh, to form a source. Well, for I, I, if I merge the combination of two and three, 
what we will get. It is we got a very strange short. The name is ammonium ethanol, right? So the question comes: Is it acidic, neutral, or alkaline? I don't know. Okay, it really depends on what. It really depends on the k, the constant that two k constant. Which one will be larger? Do you understand? You have to go back to the calculations in chemical equilibrium in order to get the answer. This is the general rule of thumb, okay? But of course, you may uh, even, uh, any questions so far, first of all? Now, even you would think of uh, some cases, having strong acid, strong alkaline type uh, reaction, you may also produce, okay, you may also produce um, something like an acidic solution. You may also have this scenario. Can you think of some example? Very strange case, right? Isn't it? Can you think? Uh, can you uh, can you think of some very very strange examples? I think reacting with uh, a strong acid, strong alkaline, to form acidic solution. Have you ever heard of this? What will be the form? Hey, come on, Mr. G, isn't it uh, K2SO4? Yes, you can. Um, in case you have got the ratio two, so you may have uh, two moles of KOH. We have one mole of the acid. You may also you may get a neutral solution. But if you want to make an acidic solution, you may think of this scenario. You have got only have one mole of KOH. So what we get? It will call KH. SO4 together with H2O. Okay, so it is a type of an acidic solution. So why? Because it's you are just producing uh, what we call it as a uh, acid salt. Acid salt. Well, which, which means that this substance, uh, hydrogen sulfate, can still be further undergo dissociation. Okay, so that's why we will get something like this, HSO4 minus to and further dissociate to form this. Okay, so we will say sodium hydrogen sulfate salt, it is uh, acidic. But not for potassium ion. Potassium ion will not be uh, ion, uh, will not be hydrolyzed. Questions? Manage? Can you you can manage that? Yeah. Good. I still for a while for this part. You go back to the. Uh, so, some reasons or questions? Do you need to capture the screen, right? Now, go back to this part. Now, question six. Who will be the next one? Man, hey, yes, that's right. It's B, is it correct? Potassium hydroxide solution is alkaline because of hydroxide ion, right? Both is a person is a yes, this one, but uh, this, this doesn't tell how cup is alkaline, right? Because we have got uh, the extra uh, source of hydroxide when you come back with water itself. So the answer is B. 
seven. Seven. Who will be next one? One C Y. One C Y Chen Jun Hei. Ah, seven and eight. Question seven. One zero. Solution of more metal ions give hydroxide precipitate when mixed with a frost and then take. Count the example please of statement one. Yes, a very good contact sample on this, right? Because once I react with hydroxide ion, they will produce silver oxide. What else? Can you see the word or? You have to think of so many contact samples. About sodium ion, potassium ion, Also metal ion, metal ion, right? But once we have with uh, once being mixed with NaOH, or uh, they will form NaOH, KOH respectively, but both are water soluble. No BBBD. So for this question, it doesn't tell anything about the relative amount of the alkaline uh, with respect to metal ions. So even though you may uh, think of some complex form, I, I cannot tell. Uh, I cannot tell it is correct or not correct. Why not? Not mentioned. Not mention anything about the relative uh, quantities in terms of mole when you have uh, the metal ions where, where when compared with the um, uh, the relative number of moles of alkaline. Question next. Chen Zhong Hei. Silver dioxide gas can be dried by using corn salt. Both silver dioxide and carbon silver dioxide and calcium uh, uh, corn salt, they are sulfur containing substance. The answer is Chen Zhenhe, you mentioned as A. Both though they are correct, while the second statement can explain. Is it this? So you mean that when you are going to dry the uh, the gas, you need to match the element when you choose the correct drying agent. And then the answer is B. The answer is B. Okay, the second statement doesn't tell, yes, doesn't tell anything about the drawing. So can you tell me the reason for the statement one? So the use of that concentrated sulfuraxin. Yes, it's a very good drying agent. It will absorb. it can absorb the water vapor, okay? And second criteria of having a very good drying agent is that they would not react with the gas to be collected. So that's why a uh, consult is a very good drying agent, but you cannot use it to uh, dry, for example, ammonia. But because ammonia is alkaline gas, it will react with acid. Right? Okay, you get the point. So, uh, just tell you something more about the uh, choice of the drying agents uh, to, abs to dry the gas. Question 9. Question 9. Who else? Shall we invite Chujun Fai? Chujun Fai, question 9. Iron two ions can be separated from a mixture of iron two and three solution by uh, adding ammonia to the mixture. 
Andrew Irons will give a reddish brown precipitate while take a look. Iron 3. Well, iron 3 ions give a green precipitate. It's D, right? Totally wrong for the two cases. First case, why not? So take a look at the first part. Separated. Separated. So in case I've got a mixture of the two, if I add ammonia to it, ammonia contains hydroxide ion. So they will both react with iron 2 and iron 3 ions to form iron 2 and iron 3 hydroxide respectively. While you take a look on the second statement, reddish brown PPT and the green PPT, the color of them doesn't match, right? So the answer for that two should be what? What is the color of the two? Junfen. Iron 2 hydroxide and iron 3 hydroxide, what is the color? Respectively. What are the color respectively? We we'll describe the term dirty green and what? Reddish brown respectively. So keep this in mind. Okay? Separate the one is wrong. Right? Both they are from water in soluble substances. Question 10. Question 10. Lei Zhang Question 10. Cyrus Nai Chuan in sub 11. Wow, Yu Zi Hong Cyrus 12. Yes, question. Take a look on question 10. They they don't get Cyrus and Cyrus. Question 10. Let two nitrate, zinc nitrate, can be distinguished. Please the word distinguish. Okay, you may know it from from another. So the upon the dilution, uh, upon the addition of sodium hydroxide, zinc nitrate give a white PPT that is soluble in excess alkali, while lactyl nitrate does not. Hi, they don't get are you here? Gone away. Question 10, please. Is D, how wrong? How wrong are they? Right, so both they would react with first of all, or lead to nitrate, they will react with hydroxide iron to form what? Lacto hydroxide. When I react with excess, now this time I skip it uh, to by uh, avoiding not writing too much about. Okay. Oh, just wait. How come? Oh, how come I cannot write anything else yet? 
Now something, something about the the phone. Uh, let me just wait for me. Uh, something about a problem on the uh, on the document Microsoft Word. Just wait for me. Uh, Sorry, but I need to open that again, huh? Because uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know why, huh? It just maybe too much storage. I don't know, or maybe I just open too much things. Just wait for me. Do you see that again? Take a look. Yes. Can you see that? Now we have just what well, I've just mentioned. I just uh, make it longer. Uh, I just mentioned that you are going to add hydroxide to it to form iron to hydroxide. But once I add excess hydroxide to it, it will form plum base. Now the similar, similarly. Now this time you need to write it too. I just write down the flow. I need to write down the flow chart only. So the second one is on the sink. Similarly, you are going to do same thing to form sink hydroxide. And uh, when I add excess hydroxide, and you may get sinkage. The complex, right? It is dissolving, which is uh, redissolving the PPT into excess alkaline. Excess anyway for this time. Question uh, 11. Ngay chất yin. Ngay chất yin. Nitro exit can be used as a fertilizer. Nitrogen is required by plants, green plants. Ngay chất yin. Saras. Ngay chất yin. Saras. Not here. Okay, another Saras. Yu Zi Ho Saras Yu Zi Ho Saras Yu Zi Ho Saras Are you here? Former one correct, later one incorrect. Nitro acid. Mm -hmm. So you will find that <laughs> you will find that uh, formally incorrect. Okay.
and incorrect. Why not? Yes, that's right. Two SLA. It will hurt the pawns. It will hurt the pawn can be used. So which means that it is normally directly used. So no, no. Two SLA. Nitrogen is required for the green pawns, is correct? The answer is. Do you know anything about biology? Nitrogen is why green plants. Why? It's time to study something about. It's not just biology, but also chemistry. Yes, chlorophyll contains nitrogen. It's not nitrogen cycle. It's wrong. Nitrogen cycle means another thing. So, so nitrogen cycle, we focus on what? We focus on the uh, saying, yes, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, you, see, oh, you, you you need to answer question 11, uh, because another Cyrus betrayed you, all right? It doesn't reply anything, so you are forced to answer question 11 instead. Question 12, question 12, the answer is D is correct, uh, you are right, okay? It's D. So nitrogen, it is made up of, uh, we, uh, it is for the making of chlorophyll, uh, the making of good leaves, good roots, okay? Good for leaves and roots. So if you don't understand biology, just treat it as a common sense, okay? Just treat it as a common sense. Now, especially for those people just like Lei Tong, why you need to know uh, common sense in chemistry. Wells, learn the same way. Uh, uh, 13, uh, 12, first of all, magnesium reacts with citric acid crystal to form crystal. It's not correct, right? You need to add water. Need to add water to it, okay? Citric acid molecules contains hydrogen ions. It's not correct, okay? Because not yet ionized. Without water. No water cannot be ionized. Let's see my 12, uh, 13. 13. 14, that should be uh, lagging long. Lagging long, have you, have you answered? Not yet. That's why B, you, you just mentioned it as question 13, is it? B? 13B? Both are correct. Now, undoubtedly, for the second statement, you may know it is correct. It wants to mention this dilute already. Water should be present, right? No, no need to worry anything about ionization, right? Even though it is incomplete ionization, there's still some some ionization. So we have got hydrogen ions which are mobile. So this is correct. But for this part, dilute like dilute if you exit, it is non-oxidizing. Okay, non-oxidizing acid. So they would never react with kappa. Kappa places too low in the ECS, okay? So all the reactivity series, so, so it's not, it's cross and tank. C, you understand? Samsung, 14. Sulfur X is not used to prepare carbon dioxide from limestone. Any soluble product is formed on the surface of the limestone during the reaction. Samsung. First time, Samsung. 
second time samson samson later third time are you here is the bova wrong how wrong are they Your second statement is correct, right? In soluble water. It's not. What is that? It is calcium sulfate. It is water insoluble. Samson, you take a look at the first statement. How wrong are they? Sulfur acid is not used to prepare carbon dioxide from limestone. You agree if you agree with the first statement, right? It will. The second statement is used to explain the first statement. It's because we have potent effects, right? If you are going to prepare calcium carbonate, you cannot use sulfur acid to react with limestone. Do you understand that logic? So the answer is they are in causal relationship. It's A. Can you see the word not? Now this statement is very tricky because uh, you are going to see a negative statement and you judge it as correct or not, right? Something a testing of people's logical thinking. Do you understand? Later you keep, can you get, can you get, what is that logic? Next, who, who is the next guy? Chu Gawei. Aqueous ammonia can conduct electricity. Aqueous ammonia contains mobile ammonia molecules. Chu Gawei. Chu Gawei. What will be the answer for question 15? So, you know, to make the, uh, to do the process in a speedy manner, I would like to invite to the another two students to get prepared for question 16 and 17. Tamai Ho 16, you have 17. 15. What will be the choice? So going. 15. A, B, C, or D. Both they are tech. So the sec first state second statement can explain the first statement. You mean like that? So you mean that if you have got the molecules, they are mobile, they can conduct electricity, correct? Molecules can conduct electricity. So both statements, they are correct, but the second statement can explain the first statement. The reason, if you want to talk about the reason, uh, you may have some mobile ions in, found in aqueous ammonia. What are they? Mainly what? Ammonium ions and hydroxide ions. 
16. 16, some level. Gas bubbles are also observed when sodium coupling is added to oh somebody nowadays, right? If you start to uh, wear the helmet on the hat, by putting in a question mark. <laughs> hey, for sure. Are you sure, Tomaho? <laughs> gas bubbles. Also, what is that gas bubbles? Is CO2? Yes, that's a correct. Come on up side. Yes, correct is A. I'll try to have try to be confident in yourself by about the choice. Huh? Even though it's wrong, huh? just like later. 17. Your pump is D. Mm, both they are wrong. Both they are wrong. Why not? Piece of copper, dilute subfraxid, no reaction. So the answer is D. 18. Yun Tin Yao Yong Jing La. 18, 19. And question 20. And I invite some camp to students to have a try on it. 18. 18C. Cross and take. Agree. Uh, how come we have got one more term so that so that should not be appearing here yet? First change. So if the, state, the first statement is wrong, can you correct it for me? Can you see the word now? This time, dilute nitroxide is a very important chemical right here. Uh, in DSE, in uh, CE level, uh, we always ask this type of questions. So could you please mark it? It is a mild oxidizing agent, so we get with sodium and nitrogen monoxide. Okay? So, but not hydrogen gas. So we get, they will react, but they will react with to form NO, this is correct. Okay? So, uh, you cannot use copper, right, to, uh, to react with acid to produce hydrogen no other choices are possible okay and the reason behind this copper is only reactive metal okay but uh if you want to have uh, this cases the reason behind is that this one is a mild oxidizing they will react with copper even it is a even though it is a unreactive metal so the answer is b you understand and the Yongjing Lam 19. 19 is the correct. It's not die basic. So, what is the basicity of the accent? It is mono basic. So, tell me which hydrogen can be ionized. <laughs> now, very tricky questions. Which hydrogen can be ionized? Which one? Which one? Bonded with, oh yes, that's right, this one. This is the one. This is the one, okay? This this one, this hydrogen can be honest. So very authentic example, 20. Okay, Chang Yin Hei. I know you are so hungry right, for that. Uh, you need to show time. Huh? We've got a tech, we've got a tech, cause and effect, it can be used to explain. Yes, that's right, it's A. 11, uh, 21, 21. Who can choose to do study, is it Pao 21. And hydrous calcium chloride can be used to dry ammonia gas. 
Anhydrous calcium chloride is a common drying agent. Hong <laughs> Kao. Where are you, Hong Kao? See. Cross and take. Why? Why not? And I just have some chloride. Why not can be used to dry ammonia gas? Right? Somebody, if you, if you tried the essay type -qu questions, I've explained that before. Right? Calcium hydro and hydrous calcium chloride reacts with ammonia gas. So it can never be used as a drying agent to absorb to dry ammonia gas. Yes, calcium oxide, good. Good choice. 22. Silica gel. <laughs> now, uh, shall I invite uh, some other people who have got uh, 31, right? 31. 10 more questions to go. 10 more questions to go. Can I invite uh, the students uh, to try it one by one again? Uh, for, for those who get it wrong, uh, I will give you one more chance to answer it correct. Who will be the first one? I'll give you one more chance. Who will be the first one? Any volunteers? Question 22. Don't see why you... you... I'll give you one more chance. 22. Is C cross and take? Yes, that's right. Cross and take. Is C to dilute the concentration of maximum water is added to a slowly. How long is it? is it? The reverse order. Remember the reverse order. The axis should be added to water slowly. The reverse order. Because uh, the double process is exothermic. 23. 23. Sums up. An aqueous solution of ethane acid has a low electrical conductivity. Pure ethane acid is a covalent compound. Layton, twenty three, twenty four, and C five. Ten twenty five Cyrus. Hi, Samson, are you here? Eight home. There are no question marks in the answer. Shall I hold teach him? Are there no question mark? Yes, both they are correct. But uh, the A was solution at low electrical conductivity. Reason please. The pure the word is is totally irrelevant to the first question, right? Totally irrelevant. Pure if I say the covalent compound is irrelevant. It doesn't tell anything about low solubility. Samson, tell me the, the reason here, right? Why is the equal solution B when I said a low has a low electrical conductivity? Yes. It's a relative uh, degree of ionization, right? It's a low degree of ionization of maximum. But which contributes to a what? The, what affects the electrical conductivity? It affects what? 
Yes, the concentration of mobile ion, remember, which results in a very low concentration of mobile ion. Remember, it's not just tell the word of um, small number of vaccine ionized. Uh, remember the, the, the linkage, right? The linkage should be electrical conductivity linked with the concentration of mobile ion. Remember the two. Okay, got it? You, you need to link that too. Equals ammonia is an alkali, that's it, right? 24. Equals ammonia is an alkali, equals ammonia turn red, lemon paper blue. Both they are tight, but they not they cannot explain. Okay, so remember that two statement. If you reverse the order, it can be A. Right? Okay, you get a point. Twenty four. If you reverse that order, that two order, you may explain. Twenty five. Who else? Who else would like to have a try? Uh, Cyrus, I show you. And uh, Chang Wei Ho. Twenty five and twenty six. Chu Gao Wing, twenty seven. The two ions can be separated from a mixture of containing. Uh, iron nickel 2 and potassium ions by adding any which to it. Uh, nickel 2 ions give a PPT with any which. What would the answer? 25. I. It's nearly 10. Shall we end up the lecture by 10? Hey, come on, I need to have a meeting with the principal. C can anyone solve for me question 25? Hi. No response. Hi. A, mm, correct, correct cause and effect logic is A, 26, thanks, Lei Tong. How about 26? Copper 2 hydroxide can dissolve in excess, A equals ammonia. Copper 2 ions can form a complex with that. It's still A. Show me the form of uh, the complex. What is that formula? Not correct, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, the answer is tetramine. Copper. Two ions. Amen, ammonia. So the formula is for ammonia surrounding the couple two ions to form a, a complex by dative covalent bond. Do you, do you know anything about this? Dative covalent bond like this. Dative covalent bond. Do you still have any idea about that? Why would have uh, the couple two ion be available to form uh, to accept more electrons to it? You may use the concept of uh, DSC to answer. Even though the concept of complex formation is out of the syllabus, right? Samson. Do you know?
It is something special about kappa, the position, the benefit position of kappa in your periodic table. Do you know the reason? Anyone to know? Yes, period one. We are in the period four already. Wow, you have got uh, available. Or uh, for shell, yeah. right? We still have available fresh shell for the incoming for accepting the electricity. So remember, the fresh shell, the maximum accommodation you can allow 18 electrons there. Okay, for couple, we still have uh, spaces for the incoming of those electrons. 27. Twenty-seven. If you know something more about uh, A level or uh, university level, it's, uh, we call it three D orbital. Uh, it is out of the service, but don't worry, huh? You just know the first shell. You can uh, we can welcome more electrons to it. Twenty-seven. It's D. It's D. Twenty-seven is D. Both they are wrong. Why not? Now, the iron 2 alright can be used to distinguish between sodium hydroxazine and aqueous ammonia. Now, so the purpose is to add, is to distinguish the two. But why can't uh, I use different alkalis to distinguish, uh, <coughs> uh, can be distinguished by iron 3? It's because of what? Both the alkali, both will contain hydroxide iron, okay, which will react with iron 3 to form the same color of PPT. Same PPT will form. So the observation is the same. So you cannot use iron 3 chloride solution to distinguish the two alkaline. Do you understand? So both, they have got uh, hydroxide iron. Do you understand? 28. Twenty eight, uh, Saint chloride solution gives a white precipitate with uh, lead to nitrate. Sink has is a higher than lead in the reactivity series. You are you here? Yeah, you know that the second statement is correct. How about the first statement? It's something factual. How about the first one? Same chloride solution gives a white PPT with select to nitrate. What is that? PVT. Now this separate statement is correct. Okay, also precipitate. Yes, precipitate it is in form of lead to chloride. Lead to chloride. If both are correct, you have to judge whether or not it's A or B. Whether it's A or B. Yes, cannot be explained. It's B. Nothing related to it. Indeed, it is something about the precipitation reaction. You have to go back to what? Solubility rule. Why? For lack two salt, lack two chloride is water insoluble, especially in cold water. But hot water, they will dissolve. 29. Yun Tin Yang. And soy exit is commonly found in canned grapefruit juice. Huh. Something like yes, that's right. Is so. <coughs> don't don't just remember. Do not try to put a question mark in your answer. 
right? Be confident in yourself. Ban soil exit. What is that? What is the role of ban soil exit in the pre uh, in the in the process food? Do you know? Ban soil exit. It is used as a what? Do you know what what category does it fall to? Ban soil exit. Also use. Can you write down the name, the term? What is the use? So you may use to, uh, if you search on the web, you may find that uh, it will prevent the infection caused by bacteria. Yes, but for food, yes, it is used as a, what, preservatives, very good. Food preservatives, sigma form food type. Okay, food preservatives, or you could please write it down. Okay, food preservatives. Okay. 30. Liu Yong. Adding lime to cross and take. Agree. Now. Take a look on the first statement. Adding lime to alkaline soil can increase crop rate, a uh, crop, crop yield. Worse, very even worse, right? Even worse because lime is out uh, is something basic. Right? As alkaline soil, it will make the soil even more alkaline. So the first statement is wrong. So how we deal with this? If the alkaline soil, how 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 can we decrease the alkalinity? I add what? Yes, I add something ammonium ion into it and will increase the pH, decrease the al alkalinity. Okay. Over second statement, lime and as a fertilizer for the soil. Lime as a fertilizer for the soil. The answer is not correct. The second statement is not correct. Lime is not as a fertilizer. It is used to improve the soil acidity only. So uh, if you want to talk about fertilizer, uh, you need to focus on the three main ingredients. Remember, what is the three main, main ingredients? Three main ingredients for fertilizers. Three amino elements. Do you know that? N, P, and K. Please remember the three chemical symbols. Do you know what's that? Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Nitrogen is for green leaves and roots. Phosphorus and potassium is for what? It's for flowering. It's for improving the flower, uh, the flowering of the plants. Uh, as well as the ripening of the fruit, okay? For growing of fruits, you need phosphorus and potassium. Now, something about common sense, in quotation, common sense again. So the answer is D. How about the last question? 31. Sodium carbonate and calcium hydrogen carbonate can be distinguished by using dilute hydro or exit. Both they are wrong. Why can't be used to distinguish? Both will what? Both will give CO2, both will give effervescence, same observation. Okay? So the question comes, how can we use, what chemicals can be used to distinguish between sodium carbonate and calcium hydrogen carbonate? How to solve? What chemicals? What do I? My question is what chemicals can be used to distinguish? Sulfur acid. So, what will happen? Coating. Now, what do you think about coating effect? Now, something very um, uh, when you observe from the angle of uh, easy, easy observation, 
uh, we would not use coating effect to uh, as a technique to judge our that the, the, the substance is water insoluble or not. The product is not soluble or not. Why not? Because, because calcium hydrogen carbonate is also in white solid. So once I put this into the uh, dilute sulfuracid, uh, both uh, even though I've got calcium sulfate, whether or not you may argue that uh, there will be less CO2, uh, less effervescence, so it will quite difficult to judge. I have no idea whether or not this, which one is excess or limiting, etc. It will give you uh, some complexity in judgment. Can you get the point? So what would be the way to form is, first of all, the first question you need to ask is, to what? Is to judge, is to judge sodium carbonate and calcium carbonate. Tell me whether or not what is the physical state. Is it solid or in liquid solution? If nothing tells about that, please make sure that you are going to make it as a solution first. And then you may use dilute sulfuracid to, uh, to, uh, to check whether or not we have got white PPT or the no, no observable change. Can you get them behind? So if you have got a white PPT, you know it is a calcium sulfate. Okay, calcium sulfate, you know it is a uh, the substance what you are having is calcium hydrogen carbonate. If you have got no observable change, we're not. You know that is sodium carbonate. Do you understand? Okay, you get a point. So this, it is something about the techniques of doing the qualitative analysis. So much about that. We have got a very long lesson today. Okay, nearly two hours already. So I need to stop it here before I ask you guys uh, to leave. Right? Tell me your level of understanding. Feel good, bad, or not? Ah, my whole you are you are so so confident, right? <laughs> so which means that uh, you will be ready while you receive the the MC questions, right? MC questions, just as I said before, now the Friday quiz, I need to change a little bit. We have got a 36 MC challenge. You know it? You know what is that? Don't say what, you know what's that? It's just a try. Just try the MC for 36 MC challenge, the format it is similar to paper one. The in terms of a uh, the proportion, the proportion of the appearance of the MC questions for each topic. Right, I will do something like this. It is for you to have a practice until we reach the end. Uh, we have we will be most probably having the written exam. Okay, of course that would be, um, you may have a later start. Uh, that's why today I need to go, go to the, have a meeting with the principal. Uh, we need to discuss all those and uh, make it settle and I will get it to you. Or, oh, it's not, it's not me, it's by the school, first of all. Uh, in, in order to get to know what will happen to the arrangement in, uh, while you come back, including the summer, okay? Get ready for your SBA and also your essay, please. Okay, so much for today. Goodbye.